Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll let you know every time I upload a video. Okay, let's get right into your reading. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, missed you guys. This energy should last you about seven days, but energy and time are fluid. So whenever this message reaches you, all right, two overall energies for the Sag. All right, we have the dragonfly. So somebody's ascending in their spiritual journey. Another one for the Sag. Okay, all right. So I feel like you're elevating and I think you're starting something new and I think you're at, if you had some sort of spiritual awakening or um, spiritual ascension, I'm feeling that you are on like part two or part three, okay, but you're in the beginning phases a part two or part part three okay I feel I'm speaking with somebody that's very spiritual very tapped in very in touch uh, with your spirituality with your intuition you could be an empath a light worker hold on one sec hi Sagittarius sorry it's summer break and they be coming in and out <laughs> okay so we're with dragonfly and we're with birth so I feel like um, it's going to be a very lucky time for you. The The dragonfly brings a lot of lucky energy with it. I think if you are planning on starting something new or on the fence of starting something new, I think you should go with it. I think it'll be a really good success. Um, but wherever you are, you're in the beginning phases. And I love the energy of the dragonfly. Whenever I find one around me, um, I don't know it kind of um, just the way that they flutter and the way that the Sun catches their like iridescence I don't know it's just like there's something really special about it and um, and that and just the way that they fly and they hover they you know it's just they're very unique they're a little very unique little creature so you might be trying to do something a little different, okay? Something that sets you apart. But with these two cards, I just say go for it. And whatever you decide to do, it's going to be a really good success, all right? We have the dragonfly energy. Let's read it. It says, dragonfly, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Okay, so... You know, letting your intuition, let it, letting spirit lead the way. And I just feel like they're leading you on to something really, really special and really good. All right. And then we have the birth. So it says, universal energies bring you opportunity and possibility. All right. So I just feel at this, you're going to be at the right place at the right time. All right. And this is like a, like a little serendipitous magical alignment. Okay, let's find out what this is. We have dragonfly and birth for the Sagittarius. What's going on? Ooh, something that has to do with what you do for work. You could be changing it up a little bit you could be um just taking your talent taking the skill that you have and enhancing it like bringing more to the table finding a way to make it special make it unique like a different take i think you've been spiritually guided to do this and i think you know what to do
And like I said, you're elevating. I feel like you're getting promoted or something like that, okay? All right, another one for the Sagittarius. Ooh, we have false person here. Okay. There could be like a false person in your environment or a hater, okay? But I don't know. All experiences are here for a season and a reason. Maybe this hater is hating on you because they see your goods, which you bring to the table, all right? Um, and also... A hater will kind of motivate you, okay? It will kind of like, um, it's that little, you know, it brings out a, a little of that shadow side, okay? That, that, that kind of motivates and drives and pushes you forward. Sometimes you need a little hate, okay? Um, but we do have false person. Let's check into this. Like somebody's spying on what you do or they want to know your secret. They want to know, like I said, you're, you're experimenting with new ways to do something and somebody has their eye on you. Okay. Why is false person here for the Sag? Okay, so we have the coffin. Something's coming to an end. Okay. <laughs> or somebody wants to bring what you do to an end, okay? I feel like somebody really admires your talent, what you do for work, how you pay your bills, and they're a little jealous. They're in the background spying, being a hater, <laughs> and they kind of, um, they don't like it, and they want to bring it to an end. Why do they want to bring it to an end with the Sag? Okay because they want it for themselves, okay? Because you're truly blessed. Uh, or they see that the, the blessings that, that you bring in, doing what you do, doing what you love, and they want it for themselves, okay? And here is another eight with the 26, that's another eight. So I just feel like somebody is um, in the background Jealous of your ideas, jealous of your skills, jealous of how you make a living. They see you as somebody that, that's blessed, okay? And having more than them. I feel like what you do, uh, maybe you make it look easy or something. And maybe this person has to work very, very hard for a little amount of pay, okay? And that doesn't sit right with them. So instead of them birthing new ideas and a new st strategizing on how to increase their blessings, increase their finances, they're spending more time than they need in the background of seething and and hating, okay? They might as well climb in that coffin themselves because they're shutting themselves off to the possibilities, okay? All right, more for the Sag. Okay. So this is uh, somebody in the background, okay? You could be dealing 
with someone from the past okay six the number six for me is like uh, people from your past past life energy deja vu energy um, with the mature woman it could also represent uh, a relative like a grandmother a motherly figure an auntie uh, someone that you look up for guy you know look to for guidance somebody might be a little snooty okay somebody might be opposing what you do for a living like I said because I think you're successful I don't know I just feel like somebody's like uh, opposite of of your beliefs opposite what you do for work they have a problem with it um, because you generate an income and they have to be you know very disciplined very obedient follow the rules um, I feel like this is a person that allows like a society to really dictate how they how they live their life. I don't know. Okay. This is I just feel like this is somebody that doesn't agree with what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> like she's very um, you know conservative or something like that. I'm feeling that energy from that card. But in the same sense, this person has a dark side, okay? <laughs> you know, they they want to be prim and proper, and yet they have all this, like, darkness inside of them. They're harboring all this hatred, all this jealousy, this envy, hoping to bring somebody's uh, life to an end because they don't want to see them doing better. I'm... Uh, all right yeah that's true <laughs> okay so we have um the sudden wealth and we have a great fortune here so uh what you do is what's destined for you it's just all right with the 11 the 11 is a libra and energy it is um the number of karma all right the good the bad the ugly but I feel like it's good. And I, it, you know, it's a payout. Like, it's, it's, this person has a problem with, with your finances or how you go about making money, all right? But they're just a hater. This looks like a hater. Look at it. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, with a child here, there, there could be some sort of family connection here, or they could be like a real good friend to the family. Um, but this is something you've probably known since uh, like childhood, okay? All right. So now we have the thoughts card. All right. So with this person uh, in the background here on the canvas, I'm feeling that... Um, you could be doing something, you could be like an influencer, you could be doing something on social media, a place where they're able to have access to you and view what you do. I'm feeling like this person opposes what they you do, but yet they're like in the front row, okay? They're <laughs> um, okay, we have thoughts. So you're on somebody's mind. Let's get into it with this tarot. Why is thoughts here? I feel like the thoughts came in as a different energy, though. I think you're on this hater's mind, but I also think that there might be there's some sort of romantic connection here. And somebody can't get their mind off of you. All right, Sag. Who's thinking about the Sag? Okay, possibly a fixed sign, a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius, someone new. Okay, this is the world energy. 
the world energy um, comes in when you're starting something new, okay? When you're starting a new beginning. I told you. The dragonfly and the birth. You're like at the beginning phases. It's like you're... You started a new book, okay? Um, like you finished the first book or you finished the second book and now you're on to the third book, okay? Um or on to the third round or something like that. So I think you're at the beginning of uh, a new segment in your life, a new, um, a new road, okay, to this journey called life. And you're like really putting the past behind you and moving forward. Because for one, that's what you've been guided to do. And that's what you're destined to do. But I see somebody wanting to restrict you and hold you back, okay? Or deny you that. Or get in the way, you know? <laughs> uh, you're being guided not to care, <laughs> all right? Be carefree, move forward. You know you're onto something new and exciting. And I know it said dragonfly, all right? So dragonfly, the dragon is very fiery. It's very passionate. It goes where it wants to go, okay? It's magical. It has wings. <laughs> so here's the ace of wands behind this person, all right? So you're, you're delighted to move forward. You're happy to move forward. You're excited to do it. So go for it. All right. So this is someone new that has you on their mind as well. More about this person. Who's this new person for Sag? I think uh, they admire you, Sag. I think they think you're handsome. They think you're beautiful. Um, I think they're thinking about you right now. <laughs> um... But I think it's more. I think they have like a real passion about you as well. Okay. Oh, shit. Did you see it? Somebody wants to come in with a love offer. Somebody wants to ask you out. Okay. Because they can't get you off their mind. They have feelings for you. Definitely with the, with the water and the cup. That's our feelings, that's our emotions, that's the suit of cups. So, um, either this is what you're dealing with now, or this is future energy, okay? I think somebody's mustering up the, the strength or the courage to come forward because they feel a connection to you and they can't get you off their mind. Okay, all right, all right, more for this edge. Oh, here it is with the spirituality. You, I know I said you could be dealing with, um, I know I said Taurus was on this world card. Now we have the Taurus card with the Hierophant. Okay, so you felt you feel spiritually guided to someone. Okay, this is a spiritualist, a high priest, high priestess. Something that someone that's very in tune with their spirituality as well, and um, they just find that there's, there's some sort of connection here spiritually, all right, and they can't explain it, <laughs> but they're guided to go forward and they're they're guided to go towards you, okay, Sag or Sag, switch the roles. This is you, all right. And somebody is trying to keep you or hold you back from it, okay. This fell all the way on the other side on top of this person. Okay. So some, I feel like somebody's trying to hold you back from all the good stuff. Okay. <laughs> or somebody's keeping something from you. What's this person keeping from the Sag? Okay. Another four. 
So somebody's causing delays. Somebody's causing um, Why am I hearing break up or break in? Or well, they want, like I said, they want to take, take a break, take a break. I don't know. But we also have the two of pentacles here. So Something with it working out, okay? We have a, a ship that's here in the background that has a hole. And um, somebody decided to jump off a sinking ship, okay? Something that wasn't serving them. Something that was imbalanced. And it was either you go down with a ship or you, you jump off and swim to shore and find some stable ground, okay? Something... Uh, or this person was trying to... Um, throw a wrench in your sails again with the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles that's a six so this is somebody from your past trying to really stop you from getting to the ten okay with that rainbow that's like the ten of cups that's like the ten of pentacles that's what having your um all your cups and all your pentacles fulfilled okay you know the, the Four of Swords is trying to bring a stop to something or, or cause a delay. Or healing from a, a betrayal or a broken heart or something along those lines, okay? But I feel like things are working out for the best. Things are becoming stabilized. And things are going to work out the way that they should, okay? I think there was a lesson gained in, in something that you had to go through. Yeah, here we go. Wish fulfillment. <laughs> okay, somebody's... Um, oh, why am I getting... Okay. Let's say uh, somebody wants to be an actor or somebody wants to be an actress or somebody wants to be a rock star. And they're like, I'm moving to L.A., I want to, you know, I want my dreams to come true. Okay. There's a hater in the background that's like going to say, you'll never make it. You'll never make it. Trying to rain on your parade. Okay. Get into your head. Okay. That's what I feel. Like somebody wants to dream real big. And then somebody wants to take the wind out of your sails. <laughs> um. But you've been guided to keep hope alive, uh, keep dreaming, and keep healing. Because healing brings uh, confidence, okay? So, and maybe you did let these people's, uh, like, their words affect you because, um, there could be like a relationship there or like a, a like somebody in your family or somebody you know that you um, in the past may have received some guidance from but you're your own person now right Sag all right okay all right what is the closing message for the Sagittarius please Okay, love yourself and move forward, <laughs> okay? This is uh, the Queen of Cups. She's the Queen of Love. You could be dealing with um, a Cancer's Pisces or Scorpio, but you don't have to, okay? Everybody holds this energy of love within, within them. So you're just guided to turn your back on the haters and move forward. And extend your cup to the ones worthy of drinking from it and not everybody's worthy of drinking from your cup and also pour a big glass of love for yourself okay because loving yourself uh, gives you that confidence gives you that fuel gives you that fire to say fuck the haters and move forward and anyways okay all right another one for the Sag another advice card for the Sag oh two wanted to come out I told you be brave be courageous and move forward 
Walk with, walk with the heart of a lion, okay? And I think something really special is gonna happen around Leo season, which is not very far away, okay? Um, you're gonna be in your full strength, in your leadership role, and you're going to be happy. And you, you're really gonna trust yourself to make really uh, great decisions, great choices for yourself, and you're moving forward, okay? And you're taming that beast of doubt and fear. And you're moving forward like a true leader, okay? <laughs> we have the Ace of Wands here. So there's something special on the horizon, a new opportunity, something very exciting, something very, um, I don't know, this could be this new person as well, very passionate. Something that's going to bring you joy. And don't let anybody keep you from it. Because this is going to be a really, really wonderful opportunity for you. And really you need to be in that energy of fuck the haters. Okay? Alright, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. Alright, so next time baby dolls. Ciao.